Howdy folks, TJ here again. Thought I'd talk about the ZX Spectrum Next today. It's the uh, computer that uh, really got me started in wanting to learn more about Sinclair and the whole Spectrum and other computers that they made. And I thought it would be fun to make a video on why Sinclair or why Spectrum? And why is this guy getting into it? So I thought I'd make a quick little video. I'm going to uh, show some uh, screencast stuff, and I'm just going to basically chat about uh, my thoughts. And um, <clears throat> so I didn't know much about Sinclair. Like I said, back in the 80s, I did have a friend that had a ZX80 that I got to tinker with. And back then, it was one of the computers I was considering because of price. I ended up going the Atari direction, so never really got into Sinclair. Now it's uh, 2019. January is when it all started for me, where I... For some reason, uh, saw again a Spectrum Kickstarter page, and even though the Kickstarter's been long gone, I re looked at it and thought, man, this is a really cool computer. And I started exploring it more, looking at the forums. It seemed like a really cool community to be part of. And I love older computers. Atari's got my main part of my heart, but I would say Sinclair very quickly is gobbling up a little of that at this point. I, I'm not quite sure why. I've always loved black computers and Spectrum uh, and all the Sinclair lines, pretty sexy. <clears throat> um, the QL was one computer that early on when I started looking into Sinclair, I thought, wow, that's really cool. And, I, and I'm definitely a, a avid user of 68,000 uh, uh, processor. And so the QL kind of got me juicing up too, getting all excited and Gee, I really want to get this uh, computer or some Sinclair. And um, Spectrum was the first one I ended up getting. And I hope to get a, a QL soon. But uh, the next is really what started. So I went to their website, read about it, got all excited, joined Facebook groups, uh, wanted to start learning how to program BASIC, um, and um, decided, hey, why don't I go ahead and get some older Spectrums and start there? So I purchased some older Spectrum computers, very quickly started reading the very good manuals about how to program in BASIC, uh, you know, ZX BASIC, and I made my first game, Invasion of the Cloud People, pretty quickly. It's not a big, robust game, but it's, a, I think, a fun little uh, seven-layer game that folks can quickly play and get pissed off at and swear because it's hard to complete. And uh, But I got excited, and my whole... Original thought is learn how to program with the ZX Spectrum and see if I can carry that over to the next line. What's cool is the next is faster, and I might be able to actually create a game in BASIC and not have to learn machine language or any of these other things and have it speedy enough to actually play a fun little game. So my hope is that I can take Invasion of the Cloud People and make it on the next down the, down the road using some of the assets of the newer OS, uh, sprites, uh, make my graphics better and faster processor, able to play the game without having to use a compiler or anything to, to make it fast enough. So that's what I look forward to. And so I blame the Spectrum Next for getting me into Sinclair. And then the QL also getting me excited about uh, Sinclair again. And then the Spectrum. It's obviously the one that's got a massive amount of folks out there that use it. And it's a pretty cool community to be part of, and I'm happy to be here. So I'm going to quickly walk around again my little uh, U-shaped office here, uh, my desks uh, where I have some spectrums laid out. And then I'm going to do a screencast of just some common places I like to visit uh, that teach me more about the next, keep me excited about the next, and hopefully I can get a next here uh, with a second uh, Kickstarter. So let me roll this out of the way and snag my camera off the tripod and as you've seen before I've got some spectrums around me on a nice big old 32 inch display so the ZX you know spectrum plus three in my opinion the top of the line the last spectrum they made it's got a disk drive obviously so a bit more capable than the older cassette mechanisms so I have that one here in my office ready to go I've got my Omni, which is used the most. It's probably my most powerful Spectrum at this point because it's got uh, SD card capability. It's what I created my first game on, so I use that quite a bit. I use it more connected to my big display. 
uh, than on the little screen, but it's nice to have that in a pinch and uh, use it as a laptop. And then the big collector item. It took me a little bit longer to get this one, and I had to pay out the Wazuli to get it, but I got myself a toast rack, and I have a, a sweet ZX HD HDMI adapter so I can connect it to my big old 43-inch 4K TV uh, to play my games and enjoy. And it's the one that I'm going to probably eventually program the most on because of the, the nicer keyboard. That is until I get a next. Uh, but for now, if I can get an SD card capable uh, reader on this, I'll start using it even more often. And then here's my QL. I, this is as far as I can get. I had one lined up. Thought I would have had it by now, but some glitches in parts availability has meant that I haven't been able to get it. I may have end up having to get one off of eBay, but I'm not going to choose a piece of crap for a lot of money. I'm going to choose something that's a good one, that's running, and uh, if I find one there, great. Or my original uh, lead on to getting a Spectrum may still happen. I have a little bit of hope there, so if it does, great. But for now, I'll keep this brochure here and I can act like I'm playing on my QL. <laughs> and then, Spectrum Next. Here's their main website. I'm going to cut away and do a little bit of a screencast here. But if you're not already visiting uh, SpectNext.com, do so. It's got a great forum link that you can go to and learn all about the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Next. I'm going to get one or two. Howdy again. So this is the screencast part that I'm just going to show you a few websites that I like to visit that I think are important and you'll learn a lot of fun stuff about the Spectrum Next. Uh, so years ago I had uh, saw that the Kickstarter started, but I wasn't you know, not, nothing really tickled me that said I needed to buy one. I mean, after all, I wasn't a Spectrum or Sinclair user. And then a number of years have passed, and then all of a sudden, something smacked me. I don't know quite what, but the, I got the Spectrum bug, and it's the next that started it all. And so I sure hope a, a second Kickstarter happens uh, this year. Um, my guess is that current... Uh, Folks that are on the Spectrum Next Kickstarter probably won't get their unit until the end of the year. I think if all goes well, they start manufacturing here in the summer and then get them before Christmas. And then hopefully that means a second Kickstarter happens around Christmas. And if that means we get our uh, second Kickstarter uh, gear in early 2019, I'm cool with that. So anyway, here's some um, websites that I thought would be fun to kind of quickly talk about. So the ZX Spectrum Next was a Kickstarter, as I noted, and this is where I originally learned about it. And I definitely recommend uh, bookmarking this page <coughs> and checking it out because you do get current updates. They seem to come out with an update every month about what's happening, what's happening with the keyboard, this and that. So I think it's good to uh, check those out and also just peruse if you're brand new to this the whole website, this is where I really started learning about uh, you know, Spectrum and what kind of caught my eye and the people behind it. Um, I find it really cool. There's some really neat and nice folks that are in the uh, Spectrum community. Here's the brains behind the project here. and I definitely have learned a bit about uh, Rick Dickinson and Jim Bagley and Henrique and, and everybody else that's uh, involved with the original board, Victor Truco and uh, Fabio, all really cool dudes that I'm now following on the different Facebook groups where I can, and I definitely recommend you do too. Um, so anyway, check out the, uh, this Kickstarter, the original goals of it, how much money they created, the you know, 700 and some odd uh, uh, thousand dollars that they did on this sucker, so really good. And um, so peruse this page, I think it's... Uh, a lot of uh, fun, and also at the same time, you can read the periodic updates that they come out with. So that's that page. Uh, next is the user forums. I definitely love and enjoy user forums. What's cool about them is you can ask specific questions, and it's like a Bible you can go back to and search and learn about stuff. Where Facebook groups are great, you get instantaneous results of what's happening the minute, but you don't have as... I think of a, a good as searchability on it, uh, where forums you do. So I definitely recommend that you join the ZX Spectrum Next user forum. I did, 
and you can uh, view all sorts of great um, uh, great uh, threads there, and you can uh, ask questions, you can read about stuff that's happened in the news and the facts, and introduce yourself if you're brand new to it. A little of everything in here, so join the forum if you can, and enjoy that aspect of the ZX Spectrum Next. Use Facebook for your instantaneous what's happening this very minute, but go back to this forum all the time. Next are the Facebook groups. There's three main ones that I'm part of. Uh, this ZX Spectrum Next here, I've been uh, on for a while. Uh, so that's the main one that I've been keeping an eye on. And like any Facebook group, there's some drama that happens. I just I just ignore that drama stuff and I pick out what I want to learn from it and, and meet folks uh, and uh, chat with them and make new friends. That's what I'm all about. I enjoy making new friends uh, and hopefully I'm starting to do that here in the Spectrum community. So join this group, really good one, ZX Spectrum Next. The next one is ZX Spectrum Next for everyone. I just found this one a couple of days ago and just joined it actually, I think yesterday. I wasn't aware of this one, so I'm not quite sure if there's any drama going on this in this one. I haven't read, but I'm sure just like anything else in Facebook, there's a bit. But there's always good chunks of information in here too. So I just joined this one. I recommend you also check it out and see if it's uh, for you. <clears throat> so that's the second one. The last one that I'm part of is the gaming of the ZX Spectrum Next. So if you like games and if you are a Spectrum user, you like games pretty much because that's what it's all about, join this one because you, you can read up about new games, existing games, and it's a fun way to be part of the community again. And I enjoy uh, perusing these on a daily basis. And then lastly, uh, YouTube. Go and type in Spectrum. Spectrum Next as a keyword, and you're going to come up with all sorts of great videos. DVD uh, Never Games, uh, uh, he always has some uh, neat videos on games that are Spectrum Next related, and he visits and goes to shows. He met uh, uh, some of our, you know, we have idols that we start making in the Spectrum community, so you all know who that guy is. I don't even have to say his name. And uh, anyway, peruse all the different YouTube videos that are out there, you'll learn something, I'm sure. And um, so do that. So that's my normal every day. I'm always checking out YouTube, the Facebook, Facebook groups, the forums, keeping up on everything, hoping that I can be part of a Spectrum Next uh, Kickstarter, that the second one when they do it. And uh, so that's the screencast part. I'll wrap this up, and then we'll kind of uh, close out the video with my final thoughts. And uh, that's it. All right, so that's a wrap. Uh, basically, just wanted to uh, talk about the next a little bit today. It's getting exciting because the keyboard membrane issue, uh, they've just, well, they came up with a different remedy to fix the keyboard for the next, and that's the whole reason why it hasn't shipped. So they came up with a new game plan that uh, they're supposed to be able to fix pretty quickly. So there's high hope that uh, folks are going to be getting their Spectrum Nexts this year. Again, my thought on it is that uh, maybe during the summer they finally get everything together and parts ordered and everything together to start building these. And hopefully that means uh, existing Spectrum Next Kickstarter folks get theirs uh, by Christmas. That would be cool. And then hopefully that means that uh, they do a second Kickstarter around the same time into the year so I can look forward to hopefully getting mine next year in 2019. So that's my little discussion and uh, chat about the Spectrum Next. Hopefully that excites some of you that may not be familiar with it. I know it for surely excited me, and I can't wait to get mine and start exploring it. So that's a wrap.